risks of climate change are unacceptably high. In fact, they're potentially catastrophic for human health. Climate change directly impacts human health, resulting in loss of life from extreme weather like droughts, floods and heat waves. But it will also damage the ecosystems we rely on for good health, resulting in more polluted air, decreased crop yields and undernutrition, and threatening our supply of clean drinking water. Climate change will bring social change. As sea levels rise, mass human migration will lead to overcrowding, pressure on scarce resources and possibly violent conflict. Heat waves can be fatal for people aged 65 and over. This exposure will increase over the next century. But demographic data shows populations are migrating and ageing into areas worst affected by climate change and the true exposure increase for the over 65s is likely to be even greater. The current global energy mix, which emphasises fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas, has a profound impact on human health. As well as exacerbating climate change, fossil fuels are already causing heart and lung disease directly through poor air quality. The long-term effects from fossil fuels on global climate change will have even greater and more far-reaching effects on human health. But the news isn't all bad. This diagram lays out many of the key responses to climate change, all of which have significant co-benefits for human health. Low carbon vehicles and active transport like walking and cycling decrease air pollution and carbon emissions, and also decrease obesity and cardiovascular disease. In fact, through these co-benefits, and by preventing the potential loss to economic development, responding to climate change could be the biggest global health opportunity of this century. Most people view climate change as a threat, but there's significant variation. Over 70% of the population in Brazil, South Korea and Greece understand that climate change is a major threat compared to 40% or less in the USA and China. Trends of parts per million CO2 emissions are difficult to appreciate, but increasing asthma rates or exacerbating childhood undernutrition are tangible health problems that people relate to. Whether we respond to climate change, turning the threat it poses into an opportunity to improve public health, is no longer a question of scientific evidence or technological capability. It is now entirely a matter of political commitment. The health profession has a vital role to play in driving this transition communicating the risks and ensuring climate change policies promote public health. We need to be at the forefront of this issue, helping to create a healthier future.